Hey blockchain visionaries, I'm George Levy. In this video, we're going to be talking about blockchain technology and how it is applied to food traceability. Specifically, I'm going to focus on tuna and I'm going to tell you how tuna made it from the ocean all the way into this pouch and how you can find out using blockchain technology. Let's do this. I'm going to go right now through an example of blockchain tracing of tuna. Now, the product I'm going to show you right now is offered by a company called Bumblebee Seafoods. And uh, if you go to the Bumblebee Seafoods website, you'll find that there's an option that specifically allows you to trace my catch. Now, the, me the way it says trace my catch is because it's not just about tuna, although I am going to be showing you the tuna product, but you can trace other products. So for instance, you can trace tuna, you can trace salmon, you can trace sardines. Let's focus specifically just on tuna. And for the purposes of this video, I'm actually going to show you four specific products that are actually traceable on blockchain. The way that you can do that is what they call the CAN code. Now, the CAN code is the code for the one can or specific product that you're actually buying. For the purposes of this lesson, I'm actually going to go through four different products and I'm going to use four different CAN codes. And you're going to see the products, each individual one, what's inside each one of the products. So the first product I'm going to show you is the Bumblebee Chunk White Albacore in water. And uh, this can of uh, tuna has its own unique code on the bottom. What's incredible is that each can of this specific product has a different code on the bottom. And I actually searched across multiple cans to find out the contents of each one of the cans. And I chose this one can because I liked it best. So notice the kind of visibility and transparency you have for each one of them. So let's actually use this one first. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to copy the code that's inside that. And I've actually copied it and I'm just going to paste it. This is the code that's actually inside the, uh, this is the code that's actually in on the bottom of the can. And uh, what you find now is the information for this specific can and what's inside it. So looking inside it, you find that the species is albacore, just like it says in the can. And uh, you find the fishery location is South Pacific Ocean albacore stock. And uh, when you look at the South Pacific Ocean, you can also find out which type of method was used to fish it. And you can go as far deep as actually the vessel that actually was the vessel involved in catching the tuna in here. Now I did it across several cans and there were different vessels involved. This one can has actually this specific vessel, the Shon Yang 88. Now if we go across down, you can actually find out where the cannery was to actually produce and pack this one can. And it was actually in the United States. Now let's go to a different can for a different product. And you can do that because I actually bought several products. This is the Bumblebee Chunk Light uh, in vegetable oil. So the way that I can do that right now is if I go back to the website and I go enter a new can code, I have the opportunity to enter a different code. And for the purposes of this example, I'm actually going to take the code from the bottom of this one can. It's this can. And I'm going to paste it inside the find your can code. Here's the product code. I'm going to paste it right here. Now what you're going to find is it's going to be completely different information from the other product we have. We find that the species is light meat tuna. You find that the fishery location is Western and Central Pacific Ocean. That's different. Uh, furthermore, you find the fishing method. That fishing method was different as well. And you have a completely different vessel. This one's the WinBest 707. So you see, the product information for this type of tuna for this one can is completely different from the other can that's here. They're different products, but also the specifics of how the tuna was caught is different from each one of them. You also have the opportunity to uh, find where it was initially processed, and it was finally canned in the United States. So you see, while this one, the cannery was actually United States, this one actually started the process of canning in Thailand. And from there, it finished the whole process in the United States. Very interesting to know about the, the product, just the same exact tuna can that you would normally buy and just take for granted. Let's go to the next product. This is actually the Bumblebee Wild Caught Albacore in water. This one has a different code. You find a different place where you can find that code. And uh, when I actually purchased all these, I intentionally bought these individual ones because I checked the code for each one and I got to choose which one of the products I wanted to buy. So in this case, I bought this pouch of uh, wild caught albacore in water. And uh, if you notice, when you find the can code and I paste it in, you find out that, again, the species is albacore, which would be the same as the one that we had in the first product, right? But then you find other information about it. The fishery location was South Pacific Ocean albacore stock. You had the fishing method, long line. And then you have the vessel information is a completely different vessel was involved in that one. 
the cannery uh, is in Thailand. You see, it didn't just start in Thailand and end in the USA. This is actually, the full cannery process was actually in Thailand. And there's more information which you can actually go through when you go to the site. You can find out more information. You can find the fishery. You can get the stock status. There's a lot more info for each one of these. And all of this comes with your product. It's a very different type of transparency and visibility as to the products you're buying. Final product I'm going to show you is the Wild Caught Light Tuna in Water. And for that, I'm going to go back and I'm going to enter the new CAN code. And I've got the CAN codes for all of these. So once I take this one CAN code, which I'm actually taking from the pouch itself, I actually paste it into the product code location. And I run the search on it. And what I find is that this is light meat tuna. Now, this light meat tuna location is west, Western and Central Pacific Ocean. The fishing method is a purse sin, I guess. I didn't know this type of fishing method. This is another very educational process. You find out exactly how this actually purse sin method works. Very educational process. You get to learn more about how, etc. You like to know that the ship that was involved in catching the tuna for this pouch is Win Forever number 707. You even get to know when the trip began, when the trip ended. You get to know the cannery where it was all packaged together. So the key point I want to let you know is that blockchain enables Bumblebee Seafoods to give end consumers a far richer buying experience of what products they're getting. And as I actually did my buying, I actually got to look across different pouches, different cans, and actually got to see which one I wanted to buy. With my mobile device, using that code, I could look up the product details for each one of these products. This is the kind of transparency that's possible with blockchain technology. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.